Brazos County emergency management officials spent the afternoon monitoring conditions and planning for what severe weather could come our way. News 3's Donnie Tuggle visited the operations center and joins us with more. Donnie. Heather, emergency management officials told me they're keeping a close eye on the incoming storm with conditions changing rapidly. Their key message is to stay informed and prepared. Dark clouds and heavy winds, rain and localized flooding. Just some of what's already being felt in Brazos County Sunday as Hurricane Burl makes his way to the Texas coast. Following acting Governor Dan Patrick's disaster declaration, which includes the Brazos Valley, Brazos County emergency officials are on high alert ahead of Burl's landfall Monday morning. We prepare for the worst and hope for the best at this point, um, but things can change rapidly. If the storm speeds up or intensifies before landfall, Brazos County Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator Jason Ware says we could start seeing impacts as early as the morning. We're getting some of the rain bands already, um, but the closer the storm gets, the more the winds are going to be an issue and um, just be prepared in the, in the long run. Ware says maintaining situational awareness, staying updated through trusted news sources, and preparing with adequate supplies are key, along with some other common sense preparations. Paying attention to road closures in your area. Don't, don't drive around barricades if they go up tomorrow. Secure uh, things that could be blown around in your yard. Now, in preparation for Hurricane Burrow's arrival on the Texas coast, Brazos County Judge Dwayne Peters has issued a disaster declaration ensuring quick access to resources and coordinated response efforts. Live in studio, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Donnie, thank you.